Alright, welcome back guys. So guess what we're doing today? We are finally replacing my grill, getting rid of this old license plate holder and whatnot with just a, a flush grill. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put any kind of emblem on it yet. It came with an emblem holder, but I have no idea how to put that on. So we'll see how it looks uh, without that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So for this one, what you start off with is a T25 and there are three bolts right here. There's one on the left side, one right in the middle, and then one on the right side. So you have to remove those three first um, to kind of get started. You actually have to take off the entire front bumper to remove uh, just the grill. All right, now so after you get those uh, couple done, you'll have to go and remove these two right here, which are a little bit smaller. I think they are T, it looks like 25s. So remove these guys, if you get them. And then, kind of hidden underneath this, there are two little points under, which I believe are still T25s. Yep. And you'll have to remove those as well. And then this front plate will actually just lift out. Um, there's a couple little clips, but they're pretty easy to, to undo. You should be able to kind of just pop that guy off. Awesome. I don't know if you actually need to do that, but I wanted to, so. All right, now where things get a little bit hidden on you, make sure you keep an idea of what your piles are for screws as well. You have to go over to uh, one of the wheel wells and there will be a couple different screw ends and or uh, T24 fives as well underneath here so this one has just kind of like a random bolt on the inside so I'll just remove that by hand it's pretty light yours might not be the same it might just be like a normal uh, clip or something like that loosen that you'll actually have to start the car turn the wheel to the opposite end in order to get access to these as well do that Now, you just throw that little piece out. You actually have to peel back the lining, and you'll notice under here there's a couple extra little T25s. There should be two of them. So first, and then one up a little bit, a little bit higher. Ratcheting screwdrivers. Whew. Make your life easy. Awesome. So. Pretty much the same thing on the outside or on the other side and then there's one little trick that we didn't know when we first tried this this is actually a t27 there's gonna be two little holes one on each side of the uh on the bumper you actually have to fit this down you'll see it um there's a little bar or there's a little or a big bolt that holds the whole bumper onto the actual um, like crash bar area and you just kind of find where it needs to be uh, loosened and I don't think you actually need to take these completely out or off in order to get everything but just loosen them up a decent amount and I just lost that into the bumper wonderful so after doing a little bit of research and not being able to get the bumper off we figured out that there are actually two 10 meter, 10 meter uh, little uh, little nuts on a couple bolts on the inside that basically connect the bumper to the fender. Um, the way to get to those, you basically have to peel back the fender liner a little bit more than we had it before. And then what I did was I took a 
uh, extension, a really, really long extension with a 10 millimeter, a deep bit, and was able to get them. Um, they don't come straight off. You do have to go in and kind of uh, twist them off and then grab them. So it's a little bit more work. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I finally got it. Now I just have to do it on the other side. Then after you get those last four, two on each side, up under the fender, I think we should be good to pull it off. Let's, uh, let's go to try and hole. Oh, yeah. We do have to be careful of lights. All right, guys. So we have some disappointing news. The grill doesn't fit. It just is a little bit too small, and it's not going to screw in anywhere. Um, the, the fitment's just not there. So we're going to have to call it a day on this one. We're going to have to put everything back on, which really is kind of upsetting. Um, but... Hopefully I'll be able to return it, either get a different one or get my money back. Because um, it definitely was supposed to be the right one based on the listing. So it happens. You know, that's an eBay listing for you. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get the right one in the next few weeks or so and give you a real video and get you actually able to see what it looks like when it's, when it's actually on. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, like, give us some comments down below. And we will see you guys later. Start to dance and now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Well, come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much.